Hey everyone, how are you? I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you don't know me, my name's Amanya. This is my first video, so I'm pretty excited to be here. And I'm so glad you guys decided to tune in. So today, I am doing a look that I've been really trying to do for a while now. I just got back into makeup not too long ago and I realized that the obsession has never left. So I'm pretty excited about the look today and I hope you are too. And if you could like, subscribe, hit that notification bell to let you know when I come up with new videos, that would be appreciated. But otherwise than that, let's get started. So today I am feeling pretty good, you know, I could say okay, but no, I am feeling pretty good. I woke up today, I'm alive, my skin is glowing. Listen, for a person that has PCOS, and if you don't know what PCOS is, it basically means that hormones are out of control, flare-ups are part of everyday life and if you also have a skin condition then you definitely can relate to what I'm talking about so I've been doing a lot of new things you know for the new year and everything so right now I'm gonna start with Elf's Poreless Putty Primer and as you can see it's come on come on there you go as you can see I've been digging real into her she nice she feels so good on my skin and yes I just use a finger. I can't, you know, do that little cutesy thing because I don't have my nails on right now. So I just put it on my hands, rub it in nice and smooth, and then I just put it on my skin. And it feels so good. I like e.l.f. stuff because not only is it affordable, but they've been up in their game lately, to be honest. And I just like to massage my face. Just like so and I can't do a cutesy yet and I kind of don't want to because this is actually how I know that the sucker is in my skin and I've been using it for quite some time now and it just does something so nice when I decide to combine it with my other favorite primer and that is the Too Faced Hangover Hangover RX Shout out to Jackie Ina. She's also a YouTuber on here. And she did, gives great recommendations. But for this one, I thought it was like too watery at first. But then it smells so nice. And it feels, when you combine it together with the e.l.f., it's a very powerful combination. Because my makeup doesn't really go anywhere. Well, I do a lot to make sure it doesn't go anywhere because I have combo, oily, sensitive skin listen I didn't think that was possible I could be wrong but my skin because of my condition doesn't like to coordinate with me so basically I have to get super creative about what works and what doesn't work and that also takes a lot of time like if you're new to makeup you definitely don't want to jump into everyone's recommendations because sometimes their recommendations isn't what works for you and I realized that, <laughs> I think about two years ago when I was living in Hawaii for a short period of time. So right now I am just putting translucent powder onto my face. And as you can see, I'm just patting it in. I used to just like use a, a beauty sponge and do this, but I realized that one, I was doing way too much. And two, I just want to make sure that I just got a good amount on my face. So, I realized that, one, I was using too many makeup products because I was breaking out like crazy. So I went to the dermatologist and got some help, but even then, like, it seemed like it was going away. And then, like, then I would start flaring up again, and I just didn't understand. So then I went to the doctor, and the doctor was the OBGYN doctor. She's like, oh, you have PCOS. And I'm like, 
Oh, that's awesome. Which means it's not awesome because that comes with its own problems. And if you follow Kiki Palmer, she kind of addressed what it is and she still does. And I think that's so nice because it's important to bring that into the community, actually the black community. But also to make it aware, cause like we exist out here. Women that love makeup, but also have skin problems exist out here. Our skin is not like silky. We can try to get it silky, but for the most part, it's tough. So I just do the best I can and I roll with the punches, however many that may be. Well, it also depends on the day. So I am now concealing tip. If you are new to makeup, you should definitely follow this routine. It's much easier, I will say, especially if you have acne and everything. Cause to be honest, I just put like a really thin layer. I don't wanna coat my face in translucent powder. And you don't wanna coat your face. Like if you have skin problems like me, you don't wanna coat your face. I just found out about this trick about using your concealer. So you don't wanna put it in a, in a triangle because of the fact that it drags your face down and I didn't know that. And I have dark circles as you can see. So I found out this trick on tick, um, from another YouTuber, listen. It's just important to spread the knowledge here. And basically, I'm just putting it side by side on my face right now because I want my face to be lifted up, not pushed down. Lift it up. And this is It Your Skin But Better Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Anti-Aging Serum and Hydrating Serum. It also has SPF in it. Put SPF on before you put on any makeup. That's just a black girl tip and also a tip in general because as you can see outside, global warming and everything is very real. So you have all those chemicals and everything and air pollution is very real. So you wanna do what you can to protect yourself. So the color I'm using is light. Um, this is not my highlighting concealer. I have a very, very like light, light one that I use, but I am about to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Praline. And with this one, I'm just gonna go underneath. And I also like to combine it together with my light one. Still making sure that I keep it up here. And so far, I really like this little trick that I found because it helps me and also helps my dark circles. I also put some right here on my no under my nose right here. That's just my tip. I don't see a lot of YouTubers doing that, but that's quite okay. And then you just put a little bit of concealer on your bumps and stuff that you want to cover. This is the perfect time to do it before you put on your foundation because once you put on your foundation, you're kind of like stuck quite a bit. I'm feeling pretty hopeful for the new year. Not because of the pandemic, but because of the goals that I've set for myself. There'd be a lot going on in the world and sometimes you just have to take a step back and make sure that you're still focusing on yourself. As a 24 year old, I have to work, I have insurance, I have bills, I have all these other things to worry about. And sometimes it's tough. It's very, very tough to realize that you can't you can't be who you were the year before, the year before that, or even when you were a kid. So right now I'm using Elf's 16 Camo Concealer. And yeah, this one's a lot lighter. So this one's in light beige. And I just put this on my eyes. Because one, it helps amplify the eye look that I do. Two is that I just dab a little bit. And if you feel like I'm doing too much concealer, I'm not. I used to do a whole lot worse. And I kind of just put it on my nose just a little bit. But I have to remember to like really blend it out because if not, then 
she's not gonna work. I also use this time to basically contour as well. I love contouring. Shout out to Mented for getting into Target. I'm really excited about that. I hope I see more products from them. I just, when I went to Target, I just saw their lip products over there. So if you haven't tried Mented, Mented is a black, a black owned and it's beautiful. Their makeup is stunning. It goes on like butter. Um, so right now, it's winter time, so I'm not the shade that I normally am, and this is an L40, so technically I'm a bit lighter than this. So I just dab it a little. And I do this while I'm doing my concealer because it doesn't really bother me that much when I do it all together. So. I'm going to tell you about something that I do, and since we wear masks all the time, it's kind of difficult getting our, getting everything to like, stay and sit, so like sometimes you kind of have to like do some extra work, and I might need to contour just a little bit more, but for the most part, I got where my cheekbones are, and I want to put it all the way out and down, as you can see, my cheekbones are a little weird, so this one's up higher, and this one's up a little lower. It works for me. You gotta really know your face. You don't have to do what I'm doing, but I know that when I put contour here, it really just brings my face like up. And I really like that effect. So, um, I'm probably going to use my Ole Miss spray. I love this spray. You see how much it's like? Exactly. So I just spray my face. Whoo, chub. I spray my face. And then I'm gonna start going in with my sponge. And everything that I'm not showing you on camera most will most definitely be in the descriptions. Any makeup look that I do from now on will be in the descriptions. I'm just pretty excited that I finally decided to do something that I wanted to do. You know, I feel like, you know, we get to a point where right now we're trying to live for other people. We're trying to make sure other people are safe and stuff. And that's completely valid to do so because, you know, we're in a pandemic and some people believe that the pandemic's not real and I do. I 100% believe the pandemic is real because I've had a family member pass away um, from it and it was kind of tough on my family, it still is. Um, and that's just not okay. Like, when I see people traveling, I kind of just be like, I want to travel too, but I know that if I travel, I might end up hurting the people that I love. So it doesn't make sense for me to travel right now. Because when I travel, I'm going to travel. Like, I'm going to go see my dad in Hawaii, my family in Hawaii. Um, <laughs> go to some of the places that I want to go, for sure. Um, you know... I mean, that things will definitely not be the same like they were before. So good news is that now I could just start blending this out. Don't worry, it's all gonna look a whole lot better <laughs> once I rude. Once I put the foundation on basically I try not to worry that much everything kind of just blends and it's a lot of trial and error when you're doing makeup it's just a lot of trial and error like see I can't do this brush down here but I can do it up here so I'm just gonna keep doing it up here that's where I wanted the darkest at and if I feel like it's not blending in I'm just using another brush. So I'm using Bare Minerals Core Coverage Brush. 
I'm gonna just dab it. I dab it a bit more. This was more like a stamp, so I can actually get more going on. I like this brush. Probably not the right brush to use, but it seems to be working for me. And like I said, things that work for me might not 100% work for you, but you can't go wrong with investing in yourself. And that's the whole point of 2021 is investing in yourself, believe in yourself, have faith that things that you want to accomplish will happen and they will happen because you made them happen. You heard me? You made that happen. No one else made that happen. So if you feel like you can't do something, you just can't do it in that moment. And that's completely valid. You know? You just can't do it in that moment. Like for me, I couldn't do this like two years ago. But now that I'm doing it, I like it. I want to help women that are like me and I want to be able to uplift women that are like me in every possible way. Oh, I did pretty good. I'm pretty sure I could have put more concealer on in certain areas, but it's not too bad. But you see what I mean though? Like right here looks really 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 good and i hate to say that practice makes perfect but it does so oh my god um i was gonna use the maybelline fit me but you know it's a more of a glam like a glam glam look so i decided to use nars natural radiant longwear foundation in the not too and they told me to shake it and I already shaked it but I'm just gonna shake it again um I'm waiting for another order to come in um hopefully next video I can show you I can give y'all a hookup because we support black owned businesses over here so I'm gonna be ordering from black owned businesses every chance I get every chance I get so I'm just gonna do like about maybe one two two pumps two pumps is always good um and then i'm gonna do nyx bore to glow liquid illuminator i've been doing this a lot lately where i just want to glow there ain't nothing with a, wrong with a glow i know i'm oily but ain't nothing wrong with a glow i love glowing i want you to be able to see me in new york city you need to be able to see people because it'd be dark but I'm from Maryland, so I still want to glow. Period. Um, so I'm just gonna mix that in real good, and then I'm gonna use my Sonia brush that I got from Target. It's a flat top foundation brush, and I've been going back and forth about using like sponge and flat and foundation, but for the most part, ooh, I'll tell you about lint. I'm just gonna. Rub that in. Real good. I found that a brush is much, much better to get what I want. Mm. I mean, she looked good, but I feel like that was not enough. <laughs> I forget that this NARS works differently than the Maybelline. I'm just used to the Maybelline going like, oh, but this one actually has a pump. So I'm just like. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna try this again. There we go. I see you now. I mean, I saw you before, but now I really see you. So, I'm just putting it all over my face. Making sure that I get every spot. And sometimes with this lighting, you can't. <laughs> it's super hard to tell if you got everything. 
this goes really well with my skin right now listen we'll talk about the summer when the summer gets here spring summer when the, when the sunshine wants to be out and about then we'll talk about it but for right now we ain't gonna talk about it we'll talk about my hair now so um i think manifesting something for yourself is very real i've seen a lot of people yeah actually a lot of people who have manifested something for themselves and it just happened mm, if you don't really put it into action if you don't put it into word into like physical like words like whether you're writing it down or you're just saying okay this is what's gonna happen oh you know what I forgot to highlight these lips. It's okay. <laughs> I'm forgetting <laughs> I'm forgetting certain highlights, but you know what? Just remember that I was gonna highlight later. So mm. Okay. And girl, we just chatting right now. I hope y'all families is doing good. Um, uh, my family's doing okay. My I haven't seen my grandma, so I think that's the hardest part about the pandemic is that, like, you want to see your loved ones so, so, so bad, but you just also want to keep them safe the best way you can. Um, I miss her. Like, she'll be cracking me up, because sharp as attack, and be so foul with, yo, <laughs> be so foul with the insults. <laughs> and you be looking at her like, Wow. Wow, that's how you feel? She'd be like, yeah. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know that... <laughs> you, you know that way. Black mamas, black women in general be like, mm-hmm. You know that mm-hmms have like seven different tones to them. And they mean a completely different things. No, mm-mm. Like a mm-hmm or a mm-hmm don't mean the same thing. It does not. So... I think that I am, what do you guys think? I think that I'm pretty much covered. I'm pretty much covered. Um, I really like how the NARS just, even though like I have these a pump, she does a lot. And I didn't want to get something I don't like. I think matte stuff is okay, but I feel like matte stuff you can't move as much. So I can't wait for the other other product to come in because I use the back of my hand and that'd be tough and sometimes you just don't want to waste product. So it's just something to think about. Once I have once I have it in my hands, I'ma hook all y'all up because it's amazing. It's so smart. It's so I love black women. We're so, just so innovative. I just love it so much. So, I am, sorry, I know I took that long pause. I was thinking, I can think. So now, I am going to bake. And the hardest part about baking is that I'm always getting it on this robe. You see this robe? You see how pretty she is? I'm always messing her up. Like, why? Why do I do this to myself? But you know what? That's because I don't pat it onto my hand first before I do it. So I'm going to be smart and just pat it on my hand. So this is like a different type of powder. This is like baking. And I know some people are like, oh, baking's not really this, that, and a third or whatever anymore. And I'm like, okay. It was on TikTok. I'm like, okay. But a girl loves baking. I still spoke about myself, but I can't see it, so that's okay. I'll just wipe it off later. So this is the Beauty Bakery flower, and I love their stuff too. Again, another black owned business it's owned by a black woman of course stand black women all day every day 365 366 days of the year 
That's better. So I'm putting it under my eyes because sometimes a lot of the products that I use kind of, kind of basically has like certain like glitter or sparkles in it. Sometimes I just don't want that. Sometimes I want to be able to wipe it away and sometimes I can't. So I'm just putting it where I contoured it. And also this kind of actually helps my makeup stay in place. Um, I got a baking, baking powder basically. Like a color that was similar to mine. So this one's like cassava. So this is like a pretty like yellow color. Which is what I wanted because I'm all about brightening my skin. So I just put a little bit, but I don't know. I don't like to layer her. I wanna see her. I'm putting this one, I wanna see her. You know? I wanna be able to see her. And there we go. Ooh, child. Let's get to the nitty gritty reason why we're all here so if you don't know who this is this is angel marino a mac daddy he is such an amazing person i've been following him on his youtube and his instagram but also most importantly i've been following his makeup line artist couture and he just released club daddy and just in time for the end of the year into the new year you know you got to celebrate the new year with a popping new look just because you can't go out to the club or to the bar or anywhere else for that matter <laughs> Back to club daddy palette and the dress i have is very 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 holographic it's it's so pretty i can't wait to show you guys so this is what the palette looks like and if you can see it it Look how pretty she is. So bottle service, Quarantina, Twerk Off, Live, Static, F It Up Sis, Shots, Period, and Big Mic. But my holographic dress doesn't really have a lot of these three colors. So it doesn't have a lot of these three colors. It doesn't have brown or kind of like any black in it. So I'm thinking I might want to go with Live and F It Up Sis. As like my blending so I'm gonna do I want to see what F it up sis looks like F it up sis is like a matte and I just want to see what she looks like you saw that you saw that right I did nothing I just put it on here that's beautiful that's butter butter you're welcome. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just, I just put homegirl on just to see what she looked like. And she looked nice. She looked nice. She said, hello, how are you? I'm here to F you up. And I'm like, okay, I'm here for it. I'm here, I'm here, I'm listening. I'm listening to you, speak to me. So I'm just gonna do the other side. Again, like butter. She don't be doing anything. She just likes to be here. She, she's here for a good time. Now, if she's here for a long time, that's what we really wanna know. So, I am super duper excited because I'm just gonna keep blending homegirl out because She's doing exactly what I wanted her to do. So, that being said, I'm not going to do a whole lot. I just want her to be a figure, to be noticeable. Because a lot going to be happening everywhere else. I just wanted her blended out. You just want to be soft and gentle 
And these brushes are really soft and gentle. You want to pick nice and soft, gentle brushes. If you feel it tugging, she's not soft. And if you do feel it tugging, then use some setting spray. And she'll become a little bit more happy and eager to go. But if you got potent palettes like this one, too many mistakes happen. So you just want to buy, you just want to buy good quality stuff. Good quality stuff does not mean it has to be super expensive stuff. Like these brushes I'd be getting from Target. I'm about to invest in ColourPop's brushes because I realize they're like uber duper soft too. But these brushes are like eight, nine bucks. I'd rather you spend the money on a good pair of brushes that will last you quite a while. And then spend your money on like brushes that yes they have the expensive brand to it the expensive quality to it but guess what you're broke you can't buy the makeup you want to buy help me help you so now that we did that i am going to see what live looks like Ooh, girl keep holding it You know, you got some things to say? I feel like you do. I mean, I ain't mad at you. I'm not. Okay. Okay. I didn't, I didn't realize that we was cool like this. Wow. You see that? Mm. Mm. <clears throat> now look. Starting to look real good. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta hype yourself up a little bit. Like, mm, 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 in a pandemic. Mm, 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 in a pandemic. Whew. I love it. You love me, I love you. I love you too, girl. Cause girl, sometimes it'll be hard. You be like, yo, I miss my girls. I miss my friends. I miss my friends. I miss them. I've been telling them I miss them on like Insta, Twitter, Facebook, and they be like, we miss you too, girl. <sighs> I just need y'all to be wearing masks so that way I can see my friends again. I'm being selfish. At this point, I'm being selfish because I don't want to see you. I want to see them. You know, you just got to tell people, I want to see my friends. So put on a mask. Wear a mask. You wear a condom, so put on a mask. You take a shower, so wear a mask. You brush your teeth, wear a mask. Okay. So anyway, back to what we were doing. I'm just like taking the time to really blend this to grow out. And listen, one side is always gonna look better than the other. I'm just, I'm just gonna be honest with you. And you'd be like, how do I make each side be equal? You can't. Whoever tells you that you can must got really good eyes. Wow. I am kind of shook with how good this looks. Angel, I just want to tell you that you're a gift. You're a gift to this world because I've been waiting for you to come up with something like you did with Midnight Ma uh, Maven. And you did. You kind of knocked this out of the park. You really did. Wow. You made several points. Several really good points. And then I kind of want to go back a little bit. Just a little bit. And emphasize my girl. F it up, sis. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit. 
and I have hooded eyes, girl, so, you know, once you do one, you gotta go back and do the other. I might put static on the right. I put period on the left eye. Okay, so even though this brush is soft, she's having some issues, so I'm gonna spray. Spray. If that don't work, I'm gonna have no choice but to use my finger. Cause what I'm about to do is Turn the blender all the way up. This ain't working for me. Hold on. Use my finger. There we go. That's it, girl. That's what I wanted you to do. That's what I wanted you to do. Don't blend in my other girl. So, and y'all, blending takes mad long sometimes. It really does. And when you get focused and you really just want to see your book shape, the way you want it to, and then you just gotta be patient with yourself and be like, it's gonna look so good when it's done, and it will. I just wanted to keep it simple, I'm very much about keeping it simple and impactful, so that way everybody gets what they want, and what I want is for everybody to shine, so I'm gonna go back and blending her out. My purple, my sis, give me some definition. You know what? I'm gonna use my finger. Use my finger. Make sure nothing falls off the desk. And I rub old girl in. What? What? Okay, if I kind of hope, I got a little carried away. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm shook. Just a little bit. Okay, so now I gotta go back and clean her up. Wow. Sis so said, period. Period. And if they look different, they're supposed to look different. I like the way this one looks with the purple and blue. So I think I'm gonna go back to my good old sis. Wrap it up. Just go under. Mm. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so now here comes the hard part. Can you wonder why I'm smudging it? This is my personal preference. You can stamp it into your eye. I just like the way it looks when I smudge it. Cause I do it very softly. Cause listen, I poke my eye out. I have. I made my eye water and it just made, messed up the whole makeup for me. I'm gonna do in a corner. <laughs> like, but I'm like, God, dang, do I really want to do that? Static on this side.
Mm-hmm. Try to come outside. I'll wipe this off a little bit. And then we'll put it, period, on the other side. And go, period, you're so strong! Should I do my brows? What else needs to be done? So, pomade I'm using is Milani Dark Brown. So, I'm just gonna line. Mm, it takes me a little bit because I really don't want to put them on too, too strong. I don't want Sharpie eyebrows. I don't know what Sharpie eyebrows look like. I just want it enough where you can see that my eyebrows coming in real good. That one looks real good, so then I'm going to switch over to this one. And honestly, if you don't feel confident in a palming, you can always use a pencil. And then, spray my face before I do my mascara. Sometimes I forget to do that and trust me, you just wanna do it before you do your mascara, so. And yes, girl, I know. I did a lot, but I really want her to stay on. I ain't got nowhere to be, but hard to stay in the test of time. Cause you know, sometimes you be dancing, you be getting hot. Ooh, okay, yeah, it looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna use Maybelline. Hold on, first off, Maybelline has the best mascara. That's it. This is Last Sensational. This is like a brownish black. I just love the way the wand is. This is like one of my favorite favorites I normally go with the falsy so and I actually don't wear falsies surprisingly I might get into it in this new year because it seemed like a hassle I'm trying to figure out whether or not I liked it and girl I don't know how people that put on mascara be keeping my mouth closed. So I like pull it underneath my eye lash. Yeah, that looks good. Move on to your face. Cute. Which is So this is Big Glow Energy Press Highlight, and it's addicted to light. So not only the Club Daddy palette was, you know, just Mac Daddy, but it was also with one of his friends, his DJs that does Club Daddy. I absolutely adore this. I'm trying to think. Found it. I was like looking for my highlighter brush. I couldn't find it. So let's put a little bit here. Saw that, right? See that nose? Boop. And put some on where I highlighted earlier. Put some right here on my lips. Above my lips. Here. 
the not least part is I'm going to use NYX Professional Makeup Suede Matte Lip Liner in Free Spirit. It's going to line my lips. That's mm, pretty. And then I'm going to use his lipstick that he has called Daddy for the Club that goes with the Club Daddy palette. And it's just this really pretty pink, like mauve pink. And it smells so good. Oh my god, it smells delicious. And voila. So, I don't think I need a lip gloss. I think everything else is just so bright and vibrant and glowy. I just don't want to take away. So, yeah, I'm going to get changed. And then I'm going to show you guys the final look. Okay, everyone. So, this is the final look. This is what I would look like if I was to go out. Well, for all of us to go out. Really happy with the way it turned out course you know I added a little extension to give you know some more drama the dress is very very blue and purpley I will hopefully have some pictures for you guys on Instagram and Twitter to look at but I'm so excited like this is the beginning of a beautiful journey and just know that you guys are important you guys are special and I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, night, or week, whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.